Hey, what's up, boys? Slush here, bringing you a new video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, another official trailer reveal um, reaction. Um, this reaction is going to be the second video. That, um, I'm doing all three right back to back. Um, this one was two weeks ago, um, and I'll just give you my quick uh, my quick thoughts on it. Um, I, I'll just go over some certain things. Um, my opinion on the uh how the beta and i'll like pause it every once in a while and break it down the best i can um but uh yeah we're going to be doing a, uh this one and then the other one uh all three of them to combine i don't know which one you're watching in order but i will do all three of them that are up right now i'll be doing the world of shell one when it releases and any other ones that get released but uh i'm a little late on this i know um i'll try to upload quicker my reaction to things for next time but uh yeah we uh will get into it right now share screen 360 no we'll go 480 and um yeah we will react to it mild violence it's 18 oh no it's 10 plus I, it's like, well, all right so this again the um Falling shot. Uh, that's a, and a lot. This thing again. I mean, I showed that so many times. Uh, it doesn't happen that often. I don't know why they. Why am I in Russian? Close caption. All right, but um, the one tees aren't that effective. Uh, the, I mean, gold one tees here and there. They're unreal, but uh, I feel like it's not as overpowered as it was in twenty two. This is pretty much automatic uh, with the tree. Doesn't happen that often. That was awful. The main thing is that is a very true thing when that happened because you are spamming RT. It cancels out your pass, and then you don't even get a pass out once you finally have possession. And your teammates like, "Why did you pass it?" But now that if that does happen, you're gonna fall over and at least get it off somewhere, even if it's down low, um, instead of just nothing. It's smart for that. Like I said in the another one, um, I'm going to repeat this point because it's a big one. That bump right there sometimes affects the goalie if he's going to react to the, the, um, the shot. Sometimes when, um, say like a pass at the goalie, um, they can't react to it because it's not programmed into the game. Um, but it, this one is programmed into the game, but sometimes the, the goalie can't react to it as well because they, he didn't expect you to get bumped. So he expected a better shot than he's getting or something like that. So you can score a decent amount of chances on uh, up on those. Like that, that went down low, which is cool. That's really cool for NHL. Um, you don't expect the, the budget on that. That's never happened to me. That's crazy. I've never seen that animation either. This is a very cool thing that they added. The problem with it, it's only on the power play. And it's like, like, I don't know. Like, if the, you could do this for 5v5 and hot, like, it'd be super good. Getting, say all your right side guys, say you're um, a dominant lefty in my instance. 
I, I, I'm a righty in real life, but a lefty in game. Okay. So I'm better with lefties. So I'm going to have the puck on the right side. It's 90% of the game. Right. Um, my strategy would be to like have the left wing back up, um, for like the one T high one T. And if you like stayed in that area and just kept working around from my strategy, it would be so much better. So he would be ready for the one T with gold one T all, all my, my, my two, two left wings on my first two lines, gold one T right. Or silver even they're ready for it. But, um, the, uh, that's the, the point of that one. But you only can do it on power play. We also added a new feature this year called the Secret Strategy. These will pop up in game. Let you know when there's an Yeah, I'm never going to use that. distracted my door dash just showed up all right so they they broadcast snipe a lot no one used it in the beta i don't think it's that good um most heat seeker was very good from the, the demon uh close quarters obviously good one t was great i mean in some instances one t was great it's great because you don't need magnetic, so it's like still good. Um, but people are going to be running magnetic. Wait, no. Um, heat seeker, close quarters, and one T. Because you don't really need elite edges either. Three shooting traits. Those people are going to be scoring some goals from anywhere. It's going to be scary. This year, we focused on updating our AI Great thing. Larkin has gold wheels. Let's go Detroit. That's cool too. But I didn't see that many. The problem is goalies, a lot of the time I've noticed in the beta, they made saves that they shouldn't made with absurd animations. And the easy saves didn't save. Maybe it was just a beta. That that is a cool thing, but that did not happen once in ESHL. I wish you could make an ESHL uh, animation on that somehow. It was only a uh, it's only a computer thing, I guess. That is an initial because there's no line change. Okay. Passing is the best thing that they did in 23. Great passing. You aim it and it goes where it goes. You pass it. You get stride pretty well. You don't have weird animations. Um, you, you pick up speed when you get the puck. Um, passing is great. Cycling is going to be great. I like passing 22 in the beginning of the game, I couldn't make a pass because, one, it didn't go where I aimed it, and two, I no one had, like, I, I don't know, you could charge it up, and it was just, you're so used to charging it up in the previous games. It was bad. The 23 is good. Backhand passes are back. You can pass on your backhand hard. Look, watch this. Look how fast that was. And it was like a smooth motion. For it, you go like this, pass it, and this would be the puck across your screen. You need to get picked off every freaking time on your backhand. A lot of the times, believe it or not, forcing wasn't getting through people. 
If you're in position to get the puck, you are picking it off. It wasn't a clean pickoff, which is not what happens in real hockey. It was a bobble, which means sometimes they get it back. But if you're in the position, it at least like your stick is there. It'll at least like bobble for a little bit and then you'll get it. Or sometimes you pick it. But like if your body position, if you're close enough to where you're picking it off and far enough away where you're going to be able to like get it, it, it's usually pretty good uh, with the pickoffs, the body position. If you're well positioned, the offensive player will still be able to pass the puck behind the defender. So that that is cool. Before in other games, sometimes um you you turned around quick and you just automatically pick it. There there he wasn't turned around, so he didn't pick it. Po checking, love hate here. Makes the skill gap very very high, but at the point I think the po check. Okay, so I, let me go over the poke check. Poke check, you poke once, you miss, you're done. He's by you. Second thing, you hit it sometimes, and they get it back with speed, and they go, they're by you. So, in my opinion, they need to – they they did a good job with what they did with the slowing you down with the poke check. You can't hold it out like you used to for hours and just not lose speed. Smart. But – they need to make it so when you poke check, you slow down, but not as much as you've been slowing down. They they literally go down to literally a turtle, and and you can't like, you, I don't know, they, it's not realistic. Um, they 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 made it way too realistic. As in, if you poke check and mess, you're done. They need to make it a little bit more balanced. As in, like, tone it back. A little bit more. Say, say this is what NHL 23 is. You poke, you don't lose any speed. This is what NHL 23 is. They need to make it right there, not in the middle, a little bit to the left, but a little bit where you don't, where you don't lose as much speed. And that, that's what they need to do. Will they do it by the full game? I hope so. So you poke check here. Look how slow he is. Way too slow. This is fucked. I was running 95 speed and I was just blowing by everyone. Because um, you do a little wiggle and then you're gone because the D-man can't catch you. Um, Because w- once you receive it. Gold wheels is going to be very, very interesting w- with this. Like, he goes so fast. Like, you're g- gone. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this. Um, I gave a little bit of breakdown because I played the beta. Um, I'll watch the last one as well if you guys are interested in this uh, type of content or have anything else you want me to react to or even new videos or um, series or something. Uh, comment below. I'll, I'll, I'll do anything that uh, I think is right. Um, make sure you like and subscribe this video. Um, and uh, I also will be saying at the end, of all the videos um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch at Slarcy YT is the Twitch handle. Um, I'm going to be streaming at Angel 23 and all that stuff when it comes out on October 11th. Um, I'm maybe doing a 24 hour stream. I think the 11th, I think I should do it as soon as it comes up Just stream until it's until for 24 hours. Straight. I think that'd be a great way to start um, the year off. Um, maybe, maybe more. We'll see if I'm busy, but uh, yeah. Have a great day, boys, and uh, make sure you uh, tell a friend or something about me. If you know somebody who knows about NHL and wants to know some information, share it along, and uh, have a great rest of your week, and uh, peace. Hold on. I got to find how to leave. All right, peace. (laughs)